This is Multiboard, your free all-in-one 3D printable storage system that combines and enhances the best of what's out there to help you create a storage system that can truly adapt to your ever-changing maker needs. I'm talking pegboard holes, honeycomb wall snaps, along with a myriad of threads, nuts, and brackets, plus it even has a gridfinity-like extendable storage bin system. Not to mention, it's going to blow anyone away who walks into your workshop. So, what I'm about to show you is still just the start of multiboard. I've already put in something over five months of work into this, adding up to like 3,000 hours, 30 kilograms of printing, and God knows how many coffees, just to scratch the surface with over 600 parts designed so far. So if you feel like all of this work is worth something, it would mean the world to me if you would consider supporting both me and the future development of Multiboard for the price of a coffee. To find out more about that, head on over to multiboard.io. So here is where we are so far. First of all, you can connect and mount multiboard tiles literally wherever you want. You can have it horizontally, vertically, on a surface, off a surface, under a surface, on a pole, freestanding, you name it, you can pretty much mount it there however you want. So I'm just gonna quickly point out a couple of key features about all of these mounting options. I say on a surface and off a surface because you can literally have a multi-board here off a surface letting you run cables behind it. Or you can just get yourself a multi-board and use the pegboard holes and just screw right in. Or you can also use the actual little snaps that go in here to do that onto a surface as well. There's just so many different ways of mounting it, it's crazy. And of course, if you wanna go really crazy, you can put it on a mount and use pole mounts to create a whole bunch of crazy things. Or you can go freestanding because multiboards are double-sided. They can snap and screw from both sides. They are exactly symmetrical. I know my little desk storage thing here isn't exactly organized, but I'm still sorting all this out, okay? I'm understanding how to use multiboard first because this is technically still quite an early launch and I'm understanding just how crazy all of this is because I haven't even tested absolutely every single combination because that would be impossible for me to do. As for what multiboard can actually do, well, let's start with the pegboard holes. The pegboard holes can take normal pegboard hole attachments. Plus, they're strong. And I'm saying they're really strong. In my testing, I've got everything from 18 to 30 plus kilograms before the multiboard does any type of creak whatsoever. And right here, I'm gonna say a disclaimer that truly you need to do your own testing here. I cannot say it can hold that much weight because every single filament and 3D printer and printer settings are going to be completely different. In my testing, I'm using simple matte PLA with three wall perimeters and your default infill, but still, I just wanna put that out to cover my bases. Now, the multiboard also has snaps exactly like the honeycomb wall, except these are octagonal, which means that the accessories have lovely, simple 45 degrees and 90 degree changes all the way around. That means that you can have one accessory that does many things, and truly, that just, it's so nice to see that one accessory can do so much so easily. And I know, I know, those of you that already have the honeycomb wall, I don't want you to feel left out here because there is cross compatibility. That is right. You can use the lovely honeycomb wall accessories on a multiboard, and you can also use the multiboard threads and the multiboard accessories over on your honeycomb wall. That means that all of the accessories or most of the accessories of the honeycomb wall already work on the multiboard and the ones on the multiboard over on the honeycomb wall. Just be aware there is a little bit of a problem with the actual spacing of gaps because the honeycomb wall is based off 25 millimeter centers and that is everywhere. So that is how that works right there. Now there is also threads and I do mean what I'm about to say. There are threads everywhere. 
that includes the pegboard holes, the snap holes, the snap inserts that have the push fit accessories, the threads have threads inside of the threads, the threads have push fit threads in the threads. There's a lot of threads and I've put them everywhere. Now I know many of you are going to be like, hey, but threads suck when it comes to 3D printing because the layer lines are going to make them really, really vulnerable and easy to break. And I agree with you. That's how easy they are to break. With that said, I'm sorry, guy, I had to show them. Um, try and do that with this. This is what I like to call a T-bolt. I was shown this online by, I think it's Tech Fun, my Tech Fun. And oh my goodness, these things are strong. They held up all of his weight, which was 110 kilos. And in my own testing, I've been able to get a T-bolt to hold 80 kilos. So they are very strong things indeed. And we now have them in the multi-board too. So there are a whole bunch of threads everywhere and they're strong. And that is really cool because there's a whole bunch of bolt-in accessories like brackets, nuts, washers, and so much more still to come. And all of this lovely stuff lets you build stuff into the 3D space like this here. This is a nice simple setup. Or you can see that I've got it right here holding up my keep making sign. I also have it holding up my own multi-board filament roll shelf and we'll have a little bit more of a test of that later on. So truly, you can just have as much fun as you want with the multi-board and build into the 3D space. And here's the fun bit. We're still not done. I've just shown you what multi-board is. Multi-board has a subcategory inside of it, which is the multi-grid. Completely and utterly inspired by Gridfinity, hands down. It's just because I couldn't get Gridfinity dimensions to work with the multi-board. I tried for weeks, trust me. I'll do some sort of cross compatibility at some point, but I need to still play around with it. But here are all the features of the multi-grid, and I think it's just easiest to just show you it nice and quickly right now. So I have this nice little multi-grid setup right here. I can just slide things around to fit however I want. But you know what? I have this very shallow multi-grid bin here. That's, that's not very useful. Don't worry. What I'm just going to do is take off this extension right here, and I'll put that extension on here, click it together, and then that's been nice and solid there. I'll grab myself these other extensions. I'll clip that on there. All right, have it all the way on one side and that's there. Oh, but you know what? I want this to be a two tiered box. So I'm gonna take off this extension. I'll put in a box bottom and then I'll put this, why not? I'll put it on top of there. And now you can see I have that now all created. There is so much more to this, and I'm still just scratching the surface. You can put it up on your multi-board. You can do so much with it. It works both horizontally and vertically, and even under a table, there's snap everything. There is so much still to this, but let's carry on moving. <laughs> now, multi-board is a lot more than just a collection of a variety of multi-board parts in different sizes, 120 accessories, 185 bolts, 28 brackets, 204 bins, and 65 multi-grid accessories, with so much more still to come. It's also a fully organized part library, letting you quickly find the parts that you're looking for. It's also a knowledge hub showing you how every single piece works. It's also a Discord community where you can share both your setups, remixes, and your ideas. And if you believe in it and you want to support the project itself, you get a few other cool benefits as well, including a part generator like the tile generator that lets you create custom shapes to fit your walls in case you have like a socket or a light switch in the way. You can also get access to the pre-made starter pack collections that just quickly show you some nice little multi-board setups and everything just ready to go printing wise. You can request and vote for the next upcoming parts into multi-board. You even get early access to test the multi-board parts before anyone else. And there's even a commercial license to let you sell the printed parts yourself. And you can find 
more about all of this over at multiboard.io. Again, this is still just the start of Multiboard, and I cannot wait to see where this all goes. Now, to keep your attention, for just another 15 seconds or so, I'm going to put this 16 kilogram weight on my Multiboard filament holder and see if it holds as I tell you about this video's sponsor. PCBWay is revolutionizing the custom fabrication game with their diverse 3D printing and CNC machining capabilities. Need a custom part? Choose from a variety of materials like durable stainless steel or flexible TPU to make your ideas a physical masterpiece. Go and check out what PCBWay can bring to your projects by visiting the link down in the description. Thank you so much to PCB and for you for making this video possible. Okay, that's enough. As you can see, it's pretty strong and it held up. Now, I really look forward to seeing where this all goes. And I need to say, I couldn't have done any of this without the support of you and my lovely patrons. Truly, without you guys, I would not have been able to have dedicated so much time and energy and effort into making anything of what I do here. So thank you so much for watching and keep making.